40 to 70% of the people that have played VR have experienced VR motion sickness. Now, these symptoms can include dizziness, sweating, headaches, nausea, sometimes vomiting, eye strain, and sometimes a lingering sense of movement even after you've stopped playing VR. Now, VR motion sickness is actually something called cyber sickness. I'm going to go over exactly what that is, but more importantly, five specific eye tips you can do to prevent VR motion sickness. Let's focus in. Hey, howdy everybody, this is Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy. Now, the actual cause of motion sickness is not fully understood. There are actually many different theories trying to explain why we experience motion sickness. And one of the most common themes among many of these different theories is that our visual vestibular system, our eyes and ears, receive conflicting messages. And that definitely happens in VR. VR causes something called vection visual illusions of movement and it creates an environment perfect for cyber sickness. One of the most common theories is a sensory conflict. Now our eyes and ears are linked. It helps with coordination, balance, and you've actually seen this before. If you ever spin somebody around and have them stop and look at you, you'll actually see their eyes dart back and forth, back and forth when they're dizzy. This is because the fluid in their ears is still spinning around and the eyes are compensating because it's linked to the ears. It's linked in that system. Now you can think of motion sickness and cyber sickness as two sides of the same coin with definitely similar symptoms. Cyber sickness is more specifically when your eyes are sensing motion. They're seeing the vection in VR, but your ears aren't sensing any type of motion or turning at all. And that's where the conflict comes from there. An example of motion sickness would be if you're reading in a car and your eyes are at a certain focal point, but your ears are registering motion. You're feeling the acceleration, the deceleration of a car, the turning, but your eyes are at a fixed point and not really registering any motion in your visual system. There's also something called the poison hypothesis, where through evolution, we developed this defensive mechanism where if we possibly ingested poison, we can get sick and get rid of that poison. And in VR, when we're seeing these visual illusions, our body might think that, hey, you might have ingested poison, so it makes you sick. So here are my five tips specifically related to the eyes to help prevent VR motion sickness. Now I'm curious, if you've tried any of these tips in this video, definitely leave a comment below what helped you the most, what didn't help. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. These first two tips I've mentioned in other videos, but it still applies here, so I wanted to quickly mention them for this video. Tip number one is called the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, take a 20 second break looking 20 feet away or six meters. Now this rule more specifically pertains to keeping your eyes from straining out, from drying out, from fatiguing. But the important idea here is to take a break. Every 20 minutes, just help reorient your system, recalibrate things. This will actually help grow and strengthen your VR legs. Tip number two is to make sure that your IPD is set correct in your VR system like the Oculus Quest 2. IPD is very important. It can reduce blur in your system, but also it can align the optics to your eyes correctly and definitely help with VR motion sickness or help prevent VR motion sickness. Now, one of the easiest ways to measure IPD is actually to download the Glasses On app for Android or iPhone. It's free and actually fairly accurate. But if you want a manual way to measure IPD, I go over that in another video and I'll put those links in the description below. Tip number three is actually to wear your visual correction, wear your glasses in VR. Now this is actually for two reasons. Number one is that you'll actually see clearer. You'll have less blur, less chance of motion sickness. Now remember in VR, they set the focal point for a little bit further out. In the Oculus Quest 2, it's about 1.3 meters or four feet out. So if you wear glasses to see that far out, then you definitely wanna be wearing glasses in VR. The second reason may not be as obvious. There are some people out there that might have one worse eye or one blurry eye, but have one really good eye. So when they have both eyes open, they see fine. Now, if you have more of a discrepancy, if you have a bigger difference between the two eyes, your depth perception might be a little off. And that really makes a difference in VR. So if you have glasses to maybe just correct for one eye, even if you don't need it for the, the good eye, you definitely wanna be wearing them in VR because that will set both of the eyes on the same playing field. It will help with your depth perception and reduce the possibility of getting VR motion sickness. Tip number four relates to tip number three, and that's to wear contact lenses or 
to use VR prescription lens inserts if you can. The reason why is not only are glasses annoying to wear in VR, they're really uncomfortable, they might scratch your lenses, but if you have a narrow set of glasses, sometimes you'll have this weird peripheral jump of vision where it's in the peripheral vision and then it jumps into your glasses. You'll have different magnifications and different sizes that you're looking at. And so sometimes those jumps and weird different sizes might induce or cause VR motion sickness. In contact lenses, you won't have that problem because you have a full field of vision, of clear vision, and you won't have that discrepancy of different magnification or sizes of images that you're looking at. And then in VR prescription lens inserts, you won't necessarily have that problem of having some different sizes outside of your glasses, and they're just a lot easier to use than wearing glasses in VR. Tip number five, and I actually debated whether I was gonna put this in this video because the research is lacking a little bit, but it's ocular motor exercises. There is some research that suggests that this possibly could help with VR motion sickness, but really the research is lacking, needs way more research, but I thought I'd put it in here. It's worth a shot. It could help you, it might not, but it definitely won't hurt. There are four exercises that you wanna do about 75 seconds each before you start playing VR. The first one, you're gonna have two targets. You can use two different pens. You're gonna hold them out in your periphery and you're just going to use your eyes on this one and look at each target and bounce back and forth for 75 seconds. A second exercise, you take one target and you follow it with your eyes back and forth. Try not to move your head. You go really slow, back and forth, 75 seconds. A third exercise, you take that same target, put it in front of you, and you keep looking at it with your eyes, but this time you're gonna turn your head back and forth. Keep the eyes on the target, 75 seconds. I look like a weirdo. Last exercise, you're gonna move the target and your head at the same time in opposite directions, keeping your eye on the target. And you do this for 75 seconds. Again, I know it's weird, research is lacking, but there is some data out there that suggests that it could help, so it's worth a shot. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, I do have some bonus additional tips that can help you out. If you can decrease the FOV, the field of view, that will reduce blur vection. Some games automatically do this, but if you have an option to turn it on, definitely try and do that. This will take you out, it will kind of mess with the immersion a little bit but it may help you with the motion sickness. A few other additional settings could also help if you teleport travel instead of smooth travel, or snap turn instead of smooth turn, or physically move your head in the game, or actually physically walk in place could also help. If you're just getting started with VR and having a hard time adjusting, make sure that you check out the game's comfort rating. Start with games that have a more comfortable rating, like Beat Saber, that's a good one to start with for sure. Now a few additional tips that may help with motion sickness in general. You need to make sure that you stay hydrated. You can also use a fan to cool yourself down. A lot of people like a neck fan. I'll put a link in the description below for that one. It's actually really nice. And a couple other remedies would be chewing mint gum or actually drinking ginger ale can actually help. Now remember the eyes play a huge role in VR motion sickness, cyber sickness. So you need to make sure that your eyes are healthy, tip top shape, ready to go. Make sure that you check out my VR and eyes playlist right there for additional tips. I'm Dr. Neil Guyman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.